Ngayong gabi, buhay na buhay ang posibilidad na merong mag-uuwi ng napakagandang propayong ito na simbolo ng pagiging kampiyon ng Fiesta Conference for 2008 at marami po ang nagulantang na ang nagkaroon ng unang posibilidad na magkampiyon ay ang dehado na Air 21 Express. Ngunit kung kayo po ay sumusunod sa PBA, alam po ninyo na ang barangay Hinebra ay hindi makapapayag na basta-basta na lang mararating ang langit ng Air 21 Express. Maaaring magkaroon ng pampitong labanan at sagupaan ang dalawang maiinip na kumpulang ito, Air 21 Express at Barangay Hinebra. Magandang gabi po, Pilipinas! At lahat ng ating mga manonood sa amang kayong bahagi ng mundo na roon. This is Game 6 of the Smart Fiesta Conference Finals between Air 21 Express and Barangay Hinebra. Gusto po kayo. Ed Pixon po lamang kasama si Kinito Henson dito po sa Araneta Coliseum. At Kinito, nako, punong-puno ang Araneta. Ang <laughs> balita dito, partner, 2.5 million record-breaking. Pesos. Pesos yan. No. <laughs> Hindi tao. Oh, oh. Hindi natin record, kaya yun. Record-breaker na po yan. Dito sa PBA, there has never been a day in the PBA where the league has garnered at least 2 million pesos in ticket sales. Ito na po the first time and it's way beyond 2 million. It's 2.5 million pesos right here, right now. Sa Sold out po mga kaibigan ang mga ticket, pati ticket ng bus na ibenta na. Wala na hong mabili. What say you, Dean? Well, ako feeling ko, no, Ed, parang ngayon, Ebra, back against the wall. This is a do-or-die situation para sa kanila. And this is a time for them to rise to the occasion and say, we are the Never Say Die team. Ayan, tingnan na natin. Yung Dean says, tungkol sa barangay ni Ebra. Hindi tayo nakakitindihan. O, ayan. Okay, pag-usapan po natin. Una-una, yung barangay ni Ebra, it's a now-or-never situation para sa kanila. Where's the spark? Alam natin si Mark Agiwa is the league's leading scorer ang average niya 22 points a game back in game number 5 ano po ang nangyari plus 3 ang Air 21 Kagiwa held to single digit 7 points only dapat mapakita naman si Mark the spark dito sa game number 6 stretching the clock the only way that Barangay never has a chance to win this one is not to engage Air 21 in the shootout stretch the clock and make sure that it's a slow down type of game finally front line attack because nakita natin sa game number 5 mga kaibigan na yung mga gwardiya ng Barangay Hinebra they're hurting, they're in pain and they're being outplayed by the longer by the bigger guards ng Air 21 so it's time for the front line of Barangay Hinebra to show up in this game yan yeah, no, ang sabi ni Kinito Henson ano naman ang sabi mo Richard Del Rosario tungkol sa Hinebra well ito na nga no, eh, do or die game for the leagues never say die team at marami nagtatanong maglalaro na kaya itong si JJ Helderbrand maaga pa lang nandito na si JJ Helderbrand actually he was warming up sabi niya papakiramdaman daw niya itong kanyang injury at magkakaroon ng game time decision kung maglalaro itong si JJ Helderbrand at sinasabi nga natin even Mark Sagiwa is not 100% pero sabi niya eh wala na talaga bukas eh kailangan ibuhos na lahat dito para sa game to bash you guys alright ano naman ang masasabi mo sa Air 21 kanito well one win away from making history looking for the first championship It's a franchise in Air 21. They need to be aggressive going to the rim. Because nakita natin sa game number 5, there were plus 5 in free throw conversions. They need to go to the, li- to the rim. They need to challenge the interior defenders. Nang Barangay Nebra, put them into foul trouble, especially si Chris Alexander, and go to the line for those free throws. Next is bench power. In the three games that Air 21 has won in this series, they have badly outplayed Nebra from the bench. That's what they need in this one. They need points from the relievers. Finally, outside artillery, which is a main weapon for Air 21. They need to make sure that they're in sync offensively from the outside, which will open up a lot of space for the penetrators of Air 21 to go inside. All right, Dominic Oy, what about Air 21? Well, Ed, para dito sa Air 21, gusto nila maging confident but not complacent. Sabi nga nila, kagaya ng naririnig nyo, eh, wala na silang marinig. They know the crowd is not for them. Sabi nila, they need to be able to take away the crowd. And by doing that, they said they need to be confident pero hindi nga complacent because they say that the biggest problem they have against Barangay, Barangay Never Gin Kings 
ay itong crowd so sabi nila hindi nagle-let up itong crowd so they need to be able to play 48 minutes of confident basketball Ed? well ganun talaga pagka kampiyonata na hindi ka pwede magpabaya o kaya maging kompiyansa lalong lalo na at ang kalaban mo ang barangay Hinebra yung crowd nga yan po ang uh, nakapagbibigay ng uh, karagdagang enerhiya o lakas para dito sa barangay Hinebra kaya kailangan ay bantayan nila yan ng uh, mabuti sa buong laro pero itong barangay Hinebra alam din nila na medyo nadidihado na sila dahil may pag-asa na ang Air 21 na magkampiyon ngayong gabi so let's pakikita natin ang starting line from Air 21 some changes from game number 5 Willie Abolena did not start in game number 5 now in game number 6 he is starting a post-up move from Brandon Del Zeo Campo na pinatawag natin ang barometer but he only had 6 points but 12 rebounds sa game 5 agad na umpisa ni Brandon Del Zeo Campo first 2 points of the game Paul Artani gets away malakas ang tira loose ball na bullet play Heiji Canyaleta Binigay kay Winnie Arboleda, sinasalubong ni Artadi, na bigyan ng pick ni Ranidel de Ocampo, sunod pa rin ang sunod si Paul Artadi. Arboleda with a crossover move. At sa running shot, there is going to be a foul. Okay na rin yan kay Winnie Arboleda. Alam niya na talaga naman kukulit-kulitin siya ni Paul Artadi. At dikit na dikit ang depensa sa kanya ni Paul Artadi. Ang ginawa ni Arboleda, di na na niya sa loob. Nakakuha ng pangatarawang free throw. Pasok lang ko na, 3 to nothing lead by Air 21. Aba, yan ang sinasabi natin, to be aggressive and going to the rim. At pinakita ni uh, Winnie Arboleda in his first attempt, attempt to go for the basket that he is not scared of challenging the interior defense ni Chris Alexander. Got rewarded with two free throws. 4-0, mga kaibigan, sa pag-uumpisa ng laro nito. Chris Alexander natapikan ni Ranidel de Ocampo. It is outside for Barangay Hinebra. Hindi pa tayo nakakaubos na isang minuto rito. Malapit-lapit na pong uh, mamaos ang ating boses dahil ang lakas ng sigawan dito sa loob ng Araneta Coliseum. Alexander, nilabas kay Junti Valenzuela, just pass to Eric Menk. May foul sa loob na nakita. Si Ranidel yata matatawagan ng personal foul. Incidentally, si Gary David. A hot shot scorer ng Air 21 not starting in this one. Although we started in game number 5. So, isa din yan sa adjustment na ginawa ni Coach Bo Parasol. Dalibre oh. si Paul Artadi. Nag-alangan siya ng dumating si KG Canyaleta. So, he had to pass off. Pero hindi niya nasipat ng mabuti. Kung nasan si Junti Valenzuela. It is outside for Air 21. And traditionally, Barangay Nebra draws a lot of firepower from the backcourt. But we've seen the defenders of Air 21, especially the women, taking good care of uh, the guards of Barangay Hinebra. So far, we've seen the guards of Hinebra taking a lot of shots. What about the first liners? They need the touches. Mark Kadiwa. Now, back in Arwin Santos. That has been the matchup. Kadiwa takes it across. It goes right. Ball handles by Thomas to Arwin Santos. In the name of Paul Artani. Arwin Santos pulls up. At may foul na tatawagin to the Junti Valenzuela. Junti saying, may mas malapit dito referee, but hindi ito tumawag. <laughs> Pero dito sa angulong ito siguro, dito sa may itaas, mas nakita ng ating referee dito. First free throw is good for Arwin Santos. Kapag yung patagahin, Ebra, hindi pa nakaka-score dito. Eh. Ebra, 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 flying start. Six to nothing, yeah. Ang ating score sa kasalukuyan. Pero early going pa lang ito ng first quarter. Juti Valenzuela nagdadala ng bola para sa barangay Ginebra. Humihingi si Eric Meng kung hindi na ipasabi na kay Mark Kadiwa instead. Eric Meng at low post against Stephen Thomas. Then Kevin hooks up. Wala. Thomas recovers the loose ball. Binigay kay Winnie Arboleda for safekeeping. At para tawagin ang play para sa mga nakaube na Air 21. Kanyaleta! Kanyaleta! Ang Gia Press! Wala sa kaliwa! 9-0 po ang ating score sa pag-uumpisa ng Game 6 ng Kampinato ng Fiesta Conference. Time out kagod!
Alright mga kaibigan, papasok po tayo sa Game 6 Narinito na tayo sa actually sa Game 6 Na labanan ng Barangay Ginebra at Air 21 At umuusap po itong Air 21 sa pag-uumpisa Ito mga tiga-deliver ng Air 21 Itong mga nakaraan, Gary David and Arwin Santos Yan po ang uh, pagtutunan ng pansin ng depensa ng Barangay Ginebra At yan ang ginawa ni na David at Santos sa Game number 5 15 points para kay David 12 points for Santos, but more importantly, you depend on Santos against Barca Giwa to hold him on down to 7 points. Good to Venezuela. Binigay kay Alexander sa ilalim. Ayaw pa rin! I win Santos in the rebound, and he brings it up court para sa Air 21. I win Santos, big left to Mira, set shot, 3 points shot. Yes! Pakalawas ni Express yun sa Air 21. So, sila ang score ng Express. Wala pa ang Barangay Ginebra. So nakita natin, nag-adjust na si Coach Joseph Luchito in bringing the ball closer to the basket. Last two possessions of Barangay Ginebra, Eric Meng and Chris Alexander took the shot. So the front runner... Hey, 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 hey! Naagawan ni Winnie Arboleda, si Junti Valenzuela. Arboleda, pass is stolen by Eric Meng. Mark Kagiwa jumps the pass to Paul Artani. Artani pulls up. Ginawas kay Mark Kagiwa. Kagiwa, cross court to Eric Meng. There it goes, si Junti Valenzuela. Sala pa rin! On that time, the shot blocker si Steve Thomas challenging Junti Valenzuela's shot. So far, Hinebra, 0 out of 4 from the floor. Apat pa lang ang kanilang atin sa kasalukuyan. So, bantan nakaka-12 puntos na ang Air 21. Hindi pa nakaka-score si Thomas. Pinang ball! Rick Chris Alexander. And it goes out of bounds in favor of Barangay Hinebra Hidabol ni Willie Arboleda yung bola. 8.24 to go. Mark Aguiba, kinalita ni uh, Ronald Tubit, with Chico probably sensing that uh, Aguiba is not 100%. He suffers from tendinitis in his left knee. That's limiting his mobility. Alexander backing up Randy Del Del Campo. Wala pa rin. Thomas para sa rebound for Air 21. 12-0 so far. Pabora sa Air 21. Arboleda and Arsani. Thomas Alexander. Thomas nakaharap sa ring. Big lang to win him and jump shot. Wala. Junti Valenzuela for the rebound. Nakita si Alexander na mahit. Malakas yung pasa. Inaalak ang upisa ng Barangay Hinebra. Let's go Joseph Vichico. Ba, nakangiti eh. Well, siguro, feeling niya, no, in his mind, better to uh, be behind at this stage of the game than later. But uh, take a look at the outside artillery so far. That's first. Way! Arboleda naman ngayon! Short jumper from the baseline. He's got four points, including two free throws. 14 to nothing. What a start. Already with two out of two three-pointers at Air 21. Nice pass to Eric Bank against Thomas. That left-handed hook shot finds its mark despite the presence of Stephen Thomas. Now you see that he never is going to the front liners for points. That's where they might have an advantage, power for power, with Eric Bank and Chris Alexander. Daniel Del Campo almost lost it. He takes it inside. Voilà. Alexander para sa rebound. Sumisigaw na naman ang mga fans ng Barangay Hinebra sa Araneta Coliseum. Tumuloy-tuloy! Paul Arcani! Back-to-back baskets for Barangay Hinebra. 14 to 4. Arwin Santos, Vesenas, Peronidel, Del Campo. Against Eric Meng, Danny Del. Passes his way through. Hindi makaporma. Nagbitawan ang bola na po ni Eric Meng. Pinagay kay Suki Valenzuela. And Nino, teka muna, sino ba? Si Ranidel. Ang tatawagan ng foul. Kung si Ranidel yun, that would be second. Yeah, Ranidel. Yes, pangalawa na yan. Lidio Ocampo. Samantala, papasok si Chris Pacana. Para kay Junti Valenzuela sa panig ng Barangay Hinebra. By the way, kanina nung uh, pumasok si Ronald Tubit, usually nire-reserve ni Coach Joseph Chico si Tubit in a matchup against Gary David. But I really think that Giba is not 100% because he's going to pass it. Hey! And that's what passes. From the blind side, Winnie Arboleda steals off Chris Alexander. 
You know what I'm talking about? He does that so well. Kita menemang mismatch itu at the post. Arwin Santos di lepas ke Arboleda. Arboleda finds an opening. Alexander Torres on the rebound for Barangay Hinebra. Paul Artadi wishes by everyone gets it to Pacana. Now look at Rick Mack. Now look at Thomas. Will be hit. Voila. Mack tries to fish for the foul. No call. Willie Arboleda. Ginalubong ni Tubid. There's a double team on him. Stephen Thomas had to reach high up for that pass. Arboleda snatches it back. And what have we got here? An offensive foul is going to be called. Okay, Stephen Thomas. There's personal on him. We've got a couple of substitutions for Coach Bo Perasol, Homer Se, and Gary David are on the hard court now. Kumbara Guy never sticking with the three guard formation. Two bits, Pangana, Chaka Chi Paul Artadi. Here's Chris Alexander now against Homer Se. Is that Thomas? Is that going to be Thomas? It could be Thomas. And if That's it is, it's number two. Oh, Pangalawaya. Pangka... Yes, it is. Yes, it's Thomas. That's a dire development. Five minutes to go in the first quarter. 5.02 to be exact. Tinawagalan na pa kanyang Pangalawang personal fouls. Stephen Thomas, they say this siya. Kay Coach Bo Perasol at sinuturo yung kanyang sentido. Ibig sabihin, ako bahala rito. Hindi ako gagawa ng uh, bagay na pagsasisihan natin. Let's see if he can do that in the heat of the game. Alexander listed 17. Uy, oh, missing two dalawa. free throws. Arboleda starting to play. Para sa Air 21 Express, over set. Nandun na naman siya inanit, pero si Chris Alexander nakapayong sa kanya. Labas ulit kay Arboleda. Thomas against Alex Crisano. Hindi yung ulti-ulti ni Thomas. Until finally uh, si Crisano giving up the foul. Hindi na nakapagpigil ang uh -huh. referee. Pinituhan na <laughs> si Crisano. Sa nga pala, speaking of the referees, we've got Ronji Aldama, Noel Kilingen, at Peter Palau. Pinapigyan ni Artadi, ginagawa si Arboleda, giving him a taste, a dose of his own medicine. Ronald Tobit momentarily opens it! He returns! Ronald Tobit! Down to a 7-point lead, Baragay Nebra. Napako itong Air 21 sa 14, ha? Yes, and drawing a lot of defensive intensity from Tobit. Very contagious sa kanyang energy, ha? Thomas goes the other way, goes up and scores. That is counted with a foul. Alex Crisano, nagbabantay sa kanya. Ito, yung ginawa ni Stephen Thomas beating Alex Crisano in that bit of action. Pipigay siya ng extra opportunity from the free throw line. Well, you saw in that replay, para nag-hesitate si Chris Alexander to go out for a block shot. I don't think he should hesitate. Maybe he was thinking baka matawagan siya ng personal foul, but let Alex Cristano get the personal foul, but he needs to be able to be intimidating inside. Kasi pas kina ang foul si Alex Cristano. Nakapuntos din si Steve Thomas sa loob. He needs to be able to block that shot. Chris Pacana, lumang naman si Ronald Tubi. Tubi din siya, good representative. Tubi! Five points for Ronald Tubi. Yan ang favorito player ng MWSS. Oo. Wala ng MWSS. Wala na ba? Tumasa. May nila dyan. Tsaka, may nila dyan. Okay. Sige, ano na nagbabayad eh. Kaya, Homer Seth! Ayaw mo yung Seth! Ayaw mo yung Seth! Nobody boxing out the man with the longest arms in the league. Alvin Santos. What a weak span! And it is back to a nine-point lead. Para sa Air 21. Chris Pacana. Sino sinda ni Gary David. Pinamot kay Paul Artani against Winnie Arboleda. Tinatapik-tapik ni Winnie Arboleda ang bola. Tubid. Tubid na lang. Kasi paubos na yung shot. 
Artadi, steal by Pagana off the pitch. Cross court to Artadi. Artadi, hand off to Alexander. Steve Thomas is hoping for an offensive foul, didn't get it. And instead, Chris Alexander had an open lane. That is his first conversion in the game. First two points for Chris Alexander. The lead is down to seven. Then he's a ball, 14 Syrian. Leon, it is 18 to 11 na buhayan ang mga barangay Hinebra sa loob ng Araneta Coliseum. At sino matatawag na personal foul? Mukhang si Alex Crisano. Ah, si Pacana. And you watch. A nice dish off galing kay Artadi. Bumbagsak si Thomas. Nato naman yung duck shot ni Chris Alexander. We have a timeout. Ang capacity po ng Araneta Coliseum ay 18,000. Punong-puno na po yun, 18,000. Pero ang uh, pumasok po, 18,043. Aba, overloaded na tayo. Pa, Paano nakalusod sa Coast Guard ito? <laughs> Baka, <laughs> ma- paying customers ba yan? Palagay ko, paying customers lamang yan. Ma, Mr. Tony Barco Huanco is here along with uh, Mr. Bobby Barrero of TV5. Okay, oh, naman, na, narito mga VIP. <laughs> eh, lahat po kayo VIP. Basta dito po sa PBA, nakita niyo si uh, Commissioner Sunny Barrios. Uh, as usual, uh, pinangangasiwaan po itong uh, laro. Hey, guy, Billiones is in the game for the first time this evening para sa Air 21. Narito si Steve Thomas. Tumalon si Alex Crisano. Kumakat. Now, what about the bench points? Mm-hmm. Si Ronald Tubid coming off the bench. Sparking with five points. At ang express bench ni isang punto. Hindi pa sila nakakapag-contribute. Although, Billiones, that 10 points in game number five, is now on the floor. Kagiwa still resting on the bench. Alright, Dominic, ano report sa Air 21? Well, Ed, itong uh, Air 21, pinalala ni Coach Boperson, kailangan nila buwaba on defense dahil nakaka-pass break itong barangay Hinebra Gin Kings. At sinabi niya, do not conserve your energy anymore. We want this to be the last game. Ed? Ubusan na, mga kaisigan. Ang sinasabi ni Coach Boperson, wag na kayo magtipid. All out na. Steve Thomas with two free throws gives Air 21 another nine-point lead. Remember, the uh, biggest lead so far ay yung uh, unang ratsada ng Air 21, 14-0. Uh, 14 kagad ang dinabang ng Air 21. Alex Grisano! Wala! Whoa! Steve Thomas grabs the rebound. He hits the deck. Well, Grisano had the scoring position. Uh, to mahawak sa ulo si... Steve Thomas, ha? Uh, Masyadolog malakas yung tiro ni Crisano, but Thomas got jarred there in that collision with Alex Crisano. Well, nasa uh, area si uh, uh, Thomas, nasa uh, hasahit naman si Crisano, nang bigla na lang tumihaya si Steve Thomas. Sinan natin ang nangyari dito. Ayun, no? Ayun, hinihila pala. Yes. <laughs> Alika, rin, rin, sabi ni Crisano, Alika, dito tayo. Tumama yung ulo. Yes, eh, yun nga. Kaya nga, uh, sa sahig, you watch it here. Crisano bringing down Steve Thomas and you see Thomas' head hitting the hard one. Okay. And nasa penalty na ang Barangay Nebra. So, free throws here for Steve Thomas. That's a regular foul on Alex Crisano but that is his fourth personal now. Pangapat na personal foul on uh, Alex Crisano nagre-reklamo yung mga taga Air 21 bakit daw uh, regular foul lang ang tinawag ganun pa man Steve Thomas at the line okay, okay. pumasok both free throws pumasok yung Steve Thomas has got 6 points now Rafi Rivas is on the court para sa Barangay Hinebra Ronald Tubid against Gary David. Nabitawa ng bola. Dumaib si Homer Se. Naibigay kay KG Canyaleta. Gary David spots up. Wala. Chris, uh, Chris Pacana gets the rebound. Forward now to Ronald Tubid. Tubid inside the paint. Dinom baka ang tira. Wala. Canyaleta for the rebound. Off now to Bignones. Gary David nag-alangan against Junti Valenzuela. Steve Thomas gets the rebound. Basket count! 
And Air 21 is all fired up. Grabe ang umpisa nitong Air 21. Umuusok po mga kaibigan. Kumakaripas itong Air 21 Express. As you see this bit of action. Steve Thomas going up for the follow-up. Got a foul from Rafi Rivas. Nasa first quarter pa pa lang tayo mga kaibigan. Pero hitik na hitik sa aksyon ang Game 6 ng ating finals for the Smart Fiesta Conference ng PBA. Thomas makes the extra shot. He has 9 points in the game now. 9 points compared to Chris Alexander's 2, two points. Uh -huh. See Alexander is on the floor being guarded by a local. That's Steve Thomas. Chris Bacana drive through. At taka ko pa ng foul. Degay Bellones ang tinawagan ng kanyang unang personal foul. Ito yung galaw ni Chris Pacana. Late na humabol si Egay Bellones. So meron ding bonus shot para kay Chris Pacana. A nice pick set there by Rafi Rivis up high. And after uh, giving that solid pick to Rivis, he said, you know, Go to Pichico. At kumalik si Eric Kuhn. Missing three throws here is Barangay Hinebra. Eh, kailangan, kailangan pa naman nila. Joseph, ah, Onse, ang lamang ng Air 21. Gary David. Set up job here para kay Gary David. Pagsak si Homer siya. Eh, kay Binale, sabi tayo naman, ang ikaw ni Chris Pacana. Pacana into the front court. Hinaharangan ni Gary David. Swing! Alexander for the slam! They want Alexander with a touch. They want him going strong to the hole and slamming it home. Four points for Chris Alexander. 38 seconds to go first quarter. Steve Thomas. Outside. Barangay Hinebra. Tumama. Chris. KG Canyaleta. Bago lumabas sa sideline. Ito yung magandang pasa. Exactong exactly. Galing kay Chris Pacana. To Alexander Yakov slam dunk yan. Yakov every day, every day okay. Sigurado ka chan. Pakana. Nakatapika na agaw. Egay Vinales. Dede go! Banderang tapos. Egay Vinales. Isa talagang tensi rin ni Egay Vinales. He gives you good defense. Good individual defense niya. And then he gives you that running start, a transition basket. Junti Valenzuela na ba kay Canyaleta? Subaksak sa loob. At meron foul. Hindi niya Canyaleta po. At natawa ka na kanya ng personal foul. Meron pa tayong 11.4 seconds remaining in the first quarter. And it is a 12-point lead para sa Air 21 Express. Paragay Hinebra wants to score in this particular play. Pacana tries to give it. Oh, Kumalog! Hindi to Maso! And the buzzer sounds to end action for the first 12 minutes of play sa Game 6 ng Finals. Ng Spot, yes, the conference ng PBA. Sabi sa inyo, umpisa pa lang, namamaos na ako eh. Saan ka sisigaw dito? Eh, ba't ka sumisigaw kasi? Eh, maingay eh. Mamaya, mas maingay sa second quarter. Balik po tayo dito sa Ronetta Coliseum, mga kaibigan. Sa pag-aabang natin sa pagpasok ng second quarter sa Game 6. Ang laban ng ito ng Air 21 at Parangay Hinebra, Steve Thomas. Talagang uh, kumakabayo at gusto kong gusto na makapanalo rito. Eh si Chris Alexander din naman sa kabila. Maganda po itong pinakikita ng dalawang uh, import of goal. Uh, nakalala mga ngayon si Steve Thomas sa uh, puntos Ito kanilang mga finals averages well, Almost identical no? Points and rebounds Ang laban lang ni Chris Alexander Is that he's shooting better from the floor Over 50% As against uh, Steve Thomas Less than 40% Not tonight But in this game, yes uh -huh. Steve Thomas looks like he's uh, On track with, with 9 points 9 points And uh, Alexander only with 4 and plus Thomas 
Look at the rebound. With eight rebounds and only four rebounds for Alexander. All right, we'll be set aside in the second quarter. Laban na ang uh, air 21 and Dose, 27 15. Now, Steve Thomas sitting on the bench to start the second period. So, pagkakatao nito ni Chris Alexander to the strong to the hole. And with Greg Price, the Kala on the way, Willie Arboleda goes to the rebound. Arboleda Parenda, Papunta sa front court. Arboleda, Silusun with Chris Pacana. Arboleda over at last, Sumak Saksalod. And an offensive foul is going to be called on Arboleda. At uh, Umawi now, Sabi ni uh, referee uh, Balao, Richard Del Rosario, ano sinabi, pinag-usapan ng Ginebra? Well, gusto nila pick up yung intensity nila on defense, no? Sinasabi nga ni Coach John Ochico, there are teams that you can beat even if you're not shooting well by just by limiting their points. Pero not air 21, kailangan two things might should happen. Kailangan malimit pa sila defensively and you have to shoot well as a team. Back to you guys. That's right. Uh, dahil itong uh, air 21, pag sinabi mong nalimit mo, Parang sila mo, uh, mga 95 lang ang ginawa. Dahil <laughs> gagawa ng uh, set na uh, more than 100 yan on any given day or night. That's why it's so difficult to engage with oh. the shootout, Sarko. Oh. Oh. Nakakita naman ang, uh, pinakita naman ang YouTube. Ano, nakaya din nilang uh, gumitensan ng mga uh, ito. <laughs> oh, they said a good miss. On the follow-up on a miss also by Ranigel de Ocampo. Wala pa po nakakascore dito sa second quarter. Junti Valenzuela, short jumpers, no good. Arwin Santos high up to the rebound. Arwin did not say Willie Arboleda. Arboleda pins up, pulls the trigger. Yala! And the loose ball. Napulo to Junti Valenzuela. Chris Pacana. And the loose ball! Chris Alexander will never slam! But they're not slammed back to Chris Alexander. And he's making the air when the sun is shining because Thomas is sitting on the bench. With two personal fouls. Six points for Chris Alexander. Gary David. Did he get a home reset? Home reset is back. He's got a kill, Alexander. And I got a lot of travelers. On home reset. Ito, yung kuling ginawa. Lambaraga Hinebra. Pakana to Chris Alexander for the Yakult slam dunk. Yakult every day, every day, okay? Sigurado ka siyan. Naalala ko nga pala. Yung kumusta? Jimmy Chan, yung taklasigo. 27-17, the 10-point lead. Para sa Air 21, Mike Kabiwa is back. Pinabas kay Pacana. Nagkalaman si Pacana. And he is in a traveling violation. So it's a bad turnover dito ng Baragay in Ebra. And they're feeling the defensive pressure. It's not just the tension from a do or die situation in game six. It's the defensive pressure. We talk about it going aggressive to the rim. And Baragay never won zero out of three from three throws. And already nine out of ten for the open one. And then the league and the tiro of the Lugo Campo, may jumalakas lang. Ball out to Adi, robot kay Kadiwa. Kadiwa against Arwin Santos. They swing it over to Chris Pacano on the other side. Nagbibigay ng pick up with me. That's a traveling violation. Yes, traveling violation against Pacano. Nine turnovers na ang barangay Hinebra sa kasalukuyan, mga kaibigan. Dominic Way, ano naman ang sabi ng Air 21? Ed, ang gusto gawin ng Air 21 in today's ballgame is to put pressure on the backcourt of the barangay Hinebra, Jim Kings. Dahil pag may, when they put pressure, sabi nila, naging predictable itong opensa ng barangay Hinebra. Kaya nakikita natin na puro turnover na itong barangay Hinebra. So let's see if they can put on the pressure for the entire game, sabi ni Coach Gomer as well. That will be the key to their winning today. Well, it seems to be working. As we said, the forced barangay Hinebra to nine turnovers so far. Gary David, Labake Sunday Salvacion, short jumper, but Gary's no good. And it was Paul Arcadi. So, what about the Sunday Salvacion? But it's going to go to Eric Mack, get a basket, Mike Kadiwa. Kadiwa, Arcadi, short jumper! No. Arboleda. A zigzag, zigzag. Get a basket, Gary David, but I'm J.C. in Cal is brought up by Coach Bo Perasol para kay Gary David who has been struggling on offense so far. Wala pang nai-score si Gary David. And talk about struggling si Mark Aguila has taken only one attempt 
from the floor, still scoreless in this game. And they are picked up, or picked off by Renegel de Ocampo. Arwin Santos, Lava to Mike Kogiwa. Santos, nakita si Renegel de Ocampo versus Eric Nexor. Jumper to the center of the glass. Renegel de Ocampo gives Air 21 another even dozen lead at 29-17. Artadi, Salvacion. Eric Nick against Steve Thomas. Salvacion is there for it. Yeah. Arboleda. Anane. JC Ital is called for the foul. Artadi knocks it away. 7.59 to go, second quarter. Hey, kasangkayan din ah, Eastern Visayas, mga pang gabi. Nagkikita ka muli ba TV5, Takloban. Intal. Kagiwa to the rebound, he hits the deck, and the foul is on Arwin Santos. First personal on Arwin. And his first personal for his team, Paolo, at 21. And Coach Boparasa giving two thumbs up to his players because he likes the combination on the floor. He's got four very long and lean players playing with Winnie Arboleda. So that, that size gives the tremendous advantage in controlling the boards. Ay, nako. Another traveling violation. Science building. Pumasok pa naman yung layup ni Chris Alexander, oh. Chris Alexander with a curl, but he moved his feet before putting the ball on the floor. Kaya nga siya na traveling. Arboleda. Arwin Santos goes up. Oh, yes. yes. At meron pang uh, foul habang nasa ere si uh, Arwin. At uh, ano tawag dito? That was a bad foul. Si, si Mike may Arwin. Could be, could be. Tignan natin. Ito. Lapang play grand. That could be a flagrant foul. Uh -huh. Arwin Santos is up in the air. And his legs fell from under him. At nakita natin yun. Very, very clearly, the hand of Mark Aguirre causing the foul. Ano bang page ka ngayon? August 17, ano? 17. Itatapos mo na siya ngayon. Sahod. So yun ang nangyari mga kaibigan. Nasahod po si Arlene Santos. And Mark Aguirre will surely be called for a flagrant here. Well, it certainly looked that way. Uh, okay. Mike Aguirre is uh, getting frustrated. Uh, we can understand that. I think he's going to foul him. 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 Mike Aguirre. That's not going to do the Hinebra uh, cause uh, much good uh, in this uh, particular game. They're going to foul him. They're going to foul him. Air 21. Pumasok yung tira ni Arwin, ha? So, isang free throw para sa kanya. He's got 10 points sa kanila pa ang bola. Exactly. But hindi na siya mabibigyan ng extra free throw. Although that foul... Pumasok yung tira. Yes. Actually, it was a foul that cost the three-point play. Kanya parang ganun na ganyan. The flagrant foul was... Yung possession na. Naging... Naging bonus. There's an intal going the other way. And sign of aggressiveness in the part of Chris Alexander. Ito yung sinasabi ko. Nakakarapit ka na ng pito. Galing sa referee. And you know there's a foul on someone who's trying to score. You go for the block shot because you don't want a three-point play opportunity. Dios maray na banggay sa indigunos mga tugang. Dumang sa big goal. Dios pamalos. Lago dito sa Araneta Coliseum. Ang inyong mga kaibigan. Ed Pigson po lamang kasama si Kinito Hanson, Richard Del Rosario, Dominic Uy, at ang buong staff and complement of TV5. JC Intai, one of two. And this is the biggest lead, 16 points. Ang bentaho ng Air 21 sa Barangay Ginebra here in the second quarter. Artari Balbaton. Junti Valenzuela. Artani. Artani goes all the way. This is the shot. Arwin Santos got a rebound. Arwin takes it to the front court. Comes up. 
Steve Thomas, wrap it in. And it is outside. Barasa Air 21. And you see what's happening there, about controlling the boards of Air 21 with a huge lineup on the floor. You see, Barangay and Ebra with only one shot opportunity, even if it was a layup, yeah. no chance for an offensive rebound. Then you have transition in the other end. And JC and Tao picking up the loose ball, but a foul on Akita. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? And Ebra looking very, very exasperated at this point. You know, Barangay Hinebra is built on the Fast and the Furious. And you know that uh, J.J. Heldebrand is out for the season. And what does Hinebra miss from Heldebrand? He only happens to be the league leader in assists with six a game. He also happens to be number seven in scoring with 17 a game. That's what Hinebra is missing from J.J. Heldebrand. And with Mark Aguiba also not uh, providing the uh, quality contributions, they're missing this yeah. Output as well, he's the league's leading scorer with 22 a game. Ayan and there's Helter Brand. Oh, Helter Brand, the warm up though, young Kanina. Sabi to Richard at the. Sinabi na kung ma. Pakayanin at the Pakaylanganin, may maglala rusa. That's JJ Helter Brand. Alexander. Inside to make. Yeah! Inside to make. And Steve Thomas. Nangako kanina si Steve Thomas sa kanyang uh, coach na hindi siya uh, magpapadala at uh, hindi po siya kukunin yung kanyang pangatlong personal bomb at napakaaga pero gano'n nga po ang nangyari as Eric Menk now goes to the free throw line. And Menk having to improvise by taking the shot with his left hand. And he's a product of Lake Superior State. Here is uh, Filipino mothers in Lucia, uh, Ramasasa, Padua of Samar. Alright, the Campo, Arboleda. Looks like Barangay never shifted to a zone defense. Oh, there oh, is down on the floor. Now there was a traveling violation. Oh, I did not know that. But might have been a second motion. Someone went down. Yeah, that was Ronnie Del. Ronnie Del. But Pito, I don't uh, know if he was held down. It could be an Alexander. Ah, si Junti Valenzuela. You're not talking about it now. Junti. Nakasa ko tapos si Arboleda at si Junti. Arboleda and Junti. Some sparks here. Ito, okay. kalorin natin. Ayan, tinawagan na ng traveling dito eh. Pagkatapos, ayun, magkatulakan na, natulak. Di, hindi naman ganun kalakas, pero, oh, it looks like, ayun. Ito, ayun. Pagkatapos, tinamaan niya atas ang alak-alak. Kaya bubaksak si Ranigel Dio Campo. Technical free throw by Ranigel is no good. And that was not called a flagrant foul. Kasi kung flagrant yun eh. Technical lang, technical. Technical, oh. Kung flagrant yun eh. Free throw tapos gawin up a possession. Alright, nasa Barangay Hinebra ngayon. Ang bola. 5.53 to go. Arcadi gets away. Binigay sa loob. Hindi nakatingin si Rafi Rivas. Dari ito ngayon si Arboleda. Hinahabol niya Arcadi. Arboleda napakigaan na. And a loose ball. Foul is going to be called on winning. That's number three likewise on Arboleda. Number 21. That's a big 13 point lead. They just need to settle things down. We have a timeout. Game 6 po tayo ng championship ng A21 versus Barangay Hinebra. 
Lamang Air 20 was a serie 3 to 2. And here's uh, uh, one of the reasons why uh, they need a noisier spark. Ayan eh, seven points lang ang uh, ginawa ni uh, Mike Kajiba no, seven, seven minutes yun. Oh, seven minutes, I'm sorry. Uh, with no point. And uh, sinasabi natin yeah, what's yeah, the spark. Uh, uh. They certainly need that contribution from Mike Kajiba. Yes, he did score just seven points in game number five. That's right. And Richard, what can you say about Kajiba? Well, nakausap ko na ito si Mark Kajiba during the time. Sabi niya, both his knees are hurting. Actually, yung isang knee, yung right knee niya, yun yung reason kung bakit siya na sideline ng three games no quarterfinals pa. And uh, ngayon naman, yung other knee raw, I think, overcom overcompensated uh, doon sa kabilang knee niya. So ngayon, raw, dalawang tuhod niya masakit. On a scale of 1 to 10, ang uh, pain level, sabi niya, 12 13. So, pero sabi niya, si Clay, magpinasok sa Bicot Strong. Back to you guys. Ang hirap yun. Dalawang tuhod niya po sumasakit. Nangyari sa akin, nangyari sa akin, Pinaluhod, pinaluhod ako sa asin. <laughs> Nakala ko, play basketball. <laughs> Hindi po. And by the way, pinag-uusapan natin yung missing elements sa attention ng uh, Barangay Nebo, yung Fancy the Furious. The fact that they're not playing here, that means the Nebo is missing about 30 points a game. And you know, right, and uh, Samantana has really done work. Hapo tried to pass off to Steve Thomas. Uh, lumabas po ang bola, nabitawan na. And so, it goes back to Barangay Nebo. Still a 13 points club here by Air 21. 33 to 20. Ronald Kubin, Pinawangan. Voila. And the lose ball picked up by Steve Thomas. Ano naman ang nangyari sa huddle ng Air 21, Dominic? Ed, very calm and composed yung huddle ng Air 21 the last time pinalala ni Coach Bo Perasol. Further, to keep their composure, sabi nga niya, Ginebra is uh, trying to do different things now to get them, to derail them out of what they want to do. So I mean, keep your composure and just let things flow, Ed. All right. We have a timeout. We'll be right back. Tuloy tuloy po ang ating second quarter action dito sa Araneta Coliseum para sa Game 6 ng Championship Series between Air 21 and Barangay Ginebra. Sa kasalukuyan, damang ang Air 21 ng Prese at isa sa mga dahilan nito, TM Prese ni Arvin Santos. Atin sa inyo ng bagong TM Discard System. 30 pesos lang may bagong Discard. Teka na. 4.35 to go. Second quarter. Kumaatak ang Barangay Ginebra. Ronald Kubik. Outside inside to Eric Nix. Oh, 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 Steve Thomas uh, here at 21. You know, that would make a big difference in this game. That is how you never is able to get the ball close to the hole, but they're not able to score. On the other hand, Air 21, they're also managing to find scoring position inside the lane, but they're scoring. Number 44, Chris Alexander, penalty. Rakuf. That's his first Chris Alexander has been called for the foul. At uh, ibig sabihin niya, free throws para kay Ranidel de Ocampo. Ranidel de Ocampo, Ocampo shooting two. Ang Air 21, biggest lead so far was 16 for Air 21. Hindi pa nakakatikim ng uh, kalamangan ang uh, Barangay Hinebra sa laro nito. Eh kasi naman, paano sila makakatikim? Eh ang unang uh, malaking score dito, 14-0 uh, sa pabor ng Air 21. What a fiery start. Eh? Yeah. Yeah. What? Oh, usually decent free throw shooter yan. Si Ramigel de Ocampo. Eric Lake. Gila ba si kay Juti Valenzuela? Valenzuela gets by Steve Thomas. And then the basket, Juti. Oh, Steve. Ronald Tubin. Yes. At the back, it's by Barangay Hinebra. Cuts the lead down to 11 at 35-24. And that brought a roar from the crowd. Yeah. And here we go again. If it's a decent bread and butter play from A21. Took yes. the ball at the post. Almost got the bounce. Chris Alexander Paris a rebound. Very good get Juicy Valenzuela. Nine rebounds left to Chris Alexander. And Valenzuela with our Ramona and the Nuros who wants to get hit to the lead today. It's nothing there. What a trouble with a foul. Here comes Arcadi. Bidi 
Venezuela con Chuti Venezuela Ramadan <laughs> So he gave the ball over to the wingman. He found the lane open for a shot. Guilty Venezuela with the hit. There comes the slide. Aye, aye. So he got one on the left. Well, I'm Taddy. Come on, come on. Come on, come on, Taddy. And Taddy is taking the difference right here with his intensity and his quickness. At the club, the man of Peter. And the man of A21, 224 to go second quarter. Gary the Bird, Billy Tikitana. You! Well, I come up, Gary the Big Hotel. 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 Well, I come up, Tidama kasi sa ulo. And this is, oh, this is a momentum shift. And all because of Paul Artadi. So do I think. Ito. Ito po, kumukiblat sa loob ng Arrueta Coliseum. Yung tinamaan sa ulo ni Dino Caldaleta. Hindi namin na makagabi kanya lang tayong foul. Pero, Oh, sabay sabay nga yung uh, uh, tatlong refere, eh, no? But subsub si Paul Artadi because of that contact on his head. That was a hand on his head to prevent the layup shot. Lay the foul, penalty one on KG Peñaleta. So Paul Artadi, masusubungan na kanyang free throw prowess. Incidentally, the Kings won out of four from the line. Well, sir, dati nag-improve na shooting nito, no, ha? Tumitira na nga ng tres ito, eh. Dati, eh, takot na takot ang kapulay niya. Pagka tumira ito sa labas, eh. Tumira na ako dito. Nabate mo. Wala ako sinabi, ha? Sinabi ko na nag-improve. One out of five from the free throw line is Barangay Nebra. Oh, still missing the free throw. I feel that Alan Kedik has been working hard, working hard on Taddy, sa kanyang shooting, no? And, sabi nga natin, nag-improve mo yan. Pero, hindi naman natin sinabi 100%. One out of six from the line is Barangay in Ebras again. Sa kasalukuyan mga kaibigan, pito ang abante ng Air 21 na sa Barangay Hinebra ang bola. Chris Alexander against Homer Shex. Alexander! Alex, para sa vida. Alexander is bothered by the defense. That's very, very clear. So we need to keep us focus and he shouldn't be exasperated. Homer Shex, tumakatras, labang kayo with Shex. Dato si Jamarvin Cruz. Shex, Shex, oh my Cruz! Wala! Wala yung swera para sa vida. Shoot into the front court. This could be big kung matatapos ang kanila yung 7-point lead ng Air 21. But Cagaretta has the rebound. At maagot ginamit ni Coach Corperasol itong si Cruz, ha? That's right. Kanina si, of course, Willie Arboleta pagkatapos si Egay Villona is pangatlong point guard ito. Nice pass to Marvin Cruz. Christian, one more slot. Wala. Ang ganda sana nun. There's one and two big. One minute and 16 to go. Valenzuela. Good to Valenzuela. Top of the key. Binabagay ni KG Peñaleta. Burger to Artari. Down low to Chris Alexander against Herman Schiff. Alexander. Good to hit. 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 
That's what I was saying. He needs to continue trying to get that shot. Because it's the Bataille to have there. The local is home, I said. Eight points now for Chris Alexander. Inside pass to Thomas. Look at us, the ball with Chris. I've been shot. Oh, yes. Got a full attempt. The ball with Chris. Sapa pass it one with her. So not be not with the hand of 821. Look at the back and pass up. So the arm of that is an 821. That was a big relief, that is an express. But here comes Duke to the Outside for 821. Okay, not even happen, no? Yung length of defenders, the air 21, Junti Valenzuela had nowhere to go. The long arms of Nino Cadaleta forcing that turnover. And a half a minute to the Nalabi, it is a second quarter. Umabot ka nila ng 16 points. Yung abante ng air 21, it is now down to 7. Steve Thomas against Alexander. Thomas. And he is there with the offensive play. Referee Bala across the offensive play. And Steve Thomas, that's number four. Number four. At the top of the range, it goes up in his hand. Yeah, that's a good kill. That's a good kill. He had it to get a, a right. foul. Well, Thomas had Alexander off his feet. You watch it here. Here's the pump fake. Off his feet. But Thomas checked into Alexander, crossing the contact. So he initiated the contact that time. That was down to five again. Three seconds to go. Three seconds to go. And uh, the second for her. And the best on the inbounds pass. So Hindi Pong Gamila has won us three point five seconds. Remain on the green clock here in the second quarter. Remember, Thomas now has four personal fouls. Uh, for the second time, that has been called here by uh, A21 teams. And again, the chanting of Hinebra Hinebra is permeating the Araneta Coliseum. At the present position, five point lead. Para sa para, as a A21, a 37 32. At uh, ang bola ay uh, nasa barangay Hinebra. Ito na kikita ni Araneta Coliseum, pulong puno. And the sales uh, figure for 2.5 million pesos already. Ngayon lang po nangyari ito. Huh? At uh, pulong puno, 18,000 uh, mahigit ang tao po rito. As you look at uh, Commissioner as well, uh, of course, uh, Commissioner Sunny Barrios, at kasama uh, po si Consul Eddie de Guzman ng Gabon and uh, Ador de Guzman. And behind him, of course, a good friend Eric Tagle, with Mr. Tony Boyko Wonko and Mr. Bobby Barrero. That's right. It's got 3.5 seconds. This Alexander. To the hole! That's it! Alexander not quitting. Here's the outlet pass. Uh, and we're going to give the ball back to Hinebra. He never hit it. He never hit it. He never hit it. Three tenths of a second. No, no, no. He did not hit it. What a big comeback from Balaga Hinebra from 14-0 down. The Bible to do 16 points. Yung Lamang ng Air 21. Pero sa pagtatapos ng second quarter, tatlo na lang ang avante ng Air 21. Richard is with Paul Artani. Yes, Paul. Grabe yung comeback niya dito. Mukhang uh, you're still clutching on your hamstring. Kamo sa ba yung jury mo? Ganun pa rin. Hindi gumagaling since game one. Talagang pinipilit ko maglaro para sa supporta ng Hinebra. Yun lang. <laughs> well, ito na nga. No? Hurting kayo lahat. Pati si Barca Giwa. Hurting walang JJ Halterbrand. How uh, do you guys expect to force this into a game seven? Kaya nga kami nasa Inebra, they'll never say that yung puso namin. Sana manalo kami. Thanks to God. Alright. Uh, Punta naman tayo sa'yo, Dominic. Thank you, Richard. Winnie, magandang simula nyo. Nung second quarter, bumalik itong Baragay Hinebra Gen Kings. Ano kailangan nyo gawin sa second half para makuha nyo na itong first ever championship nyo? Uh, so far, maganda ang start namin. No? Ngayon, second quarter, nag-rattle ulit ang offense namin. Siguro yun ang i-adjust namin ng third quarter and fourth quarter. Kailangan mag-start ulit kami ng strong. Alright, thank you, Winnie. Back to you guys. All right, indeed, it was a very strong start by Air 21. They uh, went up to a 16-point uh, lead initially, 14 to nothing. And then, again, this is says, now you're three to nothing. And you look at Chris Alexander. Is he happy? 37-34. We're going to have a halftime score. We'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> 